system. If you want EMSP, PSN codes or cheap game codes as well, make sure you check out G2A.com. There are links also there. And if we're trying to smash for 3,000 likes, guys, that would be absolutely awesome. So if you don't understand the Fatal 4, I'm briefly going to go over it. Each episode is two upgrades maximum. That's depending if you walk away with money. How you get money is by scoring goals with the team. It's 100k per goal. If you concede a goal, you take away 100k. But we have added in a few new things. One of them is if the legend scores, the main player, you get an extra 50k on top of that. If there's a rage quit, that is 100k. If you win on penalties, that is 100k. And uh, obviously... It's the same as always, really, and you should understand it. So it's two games an episode. I am going to be showing you some statistics, but I will talk about that in a little bit more. If you guys uh, haven't checked out all the other channels involved, keep an eye on them for me. And at the end of the episode, I'll be giving you two choices if we do, in fact, leave a, with some money in the two games we do play. We are playing 100 chem, 99 chem teams only, um, and it's online single matches to keep it on a level playing field. So if you do enjoy this series, guys, leave a like rating, leave some comments down below. Hello, and uh, let's get into uh, game one and see how we do with Hernan Crespo and the Argentinian silver players. So the first game, team of the season players galore and some very nice uh, normal cards as well. A very sweaty team, but it is online single matches. I reckon this is quite easy to play in uh, compared to divisions, because as I always nail divisions. But a lot of people were saying in the comment section below of the last series that I possibly could be cheating because I am not doing live comms. Now you guys know I've never live comm a series like this. I like to do a post com. So. At the end of every game, I will be showing you the statistics of Crespo as I'm only playing with him in this series. And you'll be able to see that uh, the games match up to the games you are seeing in the videos. So that's the way I'm going to prove to you guys uh, what's happening. So 1-1, Crespo scoring. I think it was Crespo scoring the first goal. And uh, then he breaks on through with a nice holding off. This is actually the first time I've actually used Crespo. Um, that doesn't count as an assist anyway, as assist don't get you any extra coins. But we do manage to take the lead back and get 150k into the bank. So regardless if we win or lose, um, Crespo is getting us some bonus money. And he's got us an extra 50k there with a nice headed goal from the corner, taking us 3-1 up. Now this game felt fucking easy. Not going to lie, this guy didn't feel that good. Uh, we got a bit unlucky here, rattling the both posts and it bouncing straight back out to Cresswell who puts in to score a hat-trick on his first game. But the game decided to change, not only with the keeper pulling off some ridiculously stupid saves, but then my defender did a flying kick to clear the ball and give away a penalty. Fair enough, in the, in real life that would have been a penalty, but in the game you think you would get away with it. And unfortunately, because of that, we get punished with the penalty kick going straight down the middle and takes it back to 4-2. That was annoying because not only could I not break through his uh, defence anymore, my defence seemed to open up left, right and centre and that's because of my shite defending. Dempsey making it 4-3 in the 77th minute but I generally thought I could hold on and uh, keep the victory in our hands. I was totally incorrect because yet again I pulled defenders out, left a massive gap through and Henri with a weird fucking shot does loop it over the goalkeeper and makes it 4-4 and that was how the game did stand. So we walk away with no points. I actually um, wanted to take this to extra time but this guy moved it to end his draw and basically we had to keep it like that. The statistics are there, we dominated but this guy did pull it back to 4-4. With that said, let's get into game two. So game one left us with 150k in the bank. That is down to Crespo scoring a hat trick and uh, no points, no, no coins from the uh, from the draw itself. So when we actually went into the next game, it DC'd, and I'm going to show you what happens when it DC's. It actually adds a game on onto Crespo, even though we've not played another game. Um, so it says he's got two games on, even though we've only played one. So we do get into the next game now, which is against Ronaldo, Ibrahimovic, Lucas, uh, Rodriguez, name out a very, very solid. Uh, looking hybrid team is it yeah it's a hybrid team and it loves the Brazilians and uh, Ibrahimovic but a nice through ball to Crespo lobbing him on the half volley makes it 1-0 getting us 150k the 50k for the goal and no 100k for the goal and 50k for our man Crespo scoring it and they get unlucky with a block there with the ball through to Villa and uh, it is slotted round and guess what this guy decided to rage quit. So not only was it 100k a goal, so we got two goals, which was 200k. We actually get a rage quit as well. 
uh, which was uh, 300k. So 300k plus 200k for the four goals Crespo did score in four games takes us to 500k. As you can see the statistics there with him. And now you guys have the choice of who gets put into the team. Chemistry is going to be awkward and uh, we're going to be left with six chem on some players regardless. So you guys, do you choose choice one for a legend in Zagi and international man of the match Mascherano? Or do you choose choice two for Zola and Balotelli? You guys leave a comment down below on your section and tomorrow night I'll be putting them into the team fucking up the chemistry but hopefully my plan works off where we cannot be left with an Argentinian team at the end of it as we all know they are absolutely horrendous when it goes in the defence but let's try and uh, sort that out so drop a like rating on the video guys subscribe if you are not subscribed and go and check out all the other channels and keep me up to date with what's happening then comment down below that's what we need to do and I'll see you all tomorrow night at 9.30